Hello guys, welcome back and in today's video let's talk about Shemaine. It's finally time, I'm gonna make a guide later, maybe in the next days, but today I want to talk about if you should pull for him or not, right? When are the cases, what your account needs to be if you want to pull for Shemaine. First of all, if you are in dire need of uh, support, you have a lot of DPS, but you didn't be didn't get lucky getting like Bitcoin. You don't have any Bitcoin, right? You don't have uh, you only have Sonetto, and it's kind of annoying, right? And you need like all the characters uh, in limbo. Your struggle because you never. Then this is a good choice. If you need a global debuffer that also deals a lot of damage, surprisingly a lot of damage, even a P zero, but. It becomes kind of a carry, a P5, depending on your investment on, on the character and getting portraits or not. It's still like a, big, a really big surprise for a character that is supposed to be a support to deal this much damage. You will see. Now, if you like all of these, he also has a debuff that is global as damage taken plus reality and defense shred by 15% and the global debuff gets up to 30% at level 3 of the card, okay? So it's going to be a really decently chunky debuff on the enemies and it's AoE, of course. So it's going to hit everybody, which is pretty good. You can just do his card, everybody's debuffed. Now, but he also has uh, a kit that enables him to do a lot of damage. First of all, he revolves around a passive called the Nature Blessing that gives you back Moxie after you do the ult, depending the amount of Moxie refunded is depends on the stacks of Nature Blessing. You have uh, many ways to stack Nature Blessing. You get Nature Blessing by doing your kick level 2 or above from I3 every two rounds, and if you get P1, Somehow, maybe you're lucky or not, maybe you're paying for it. You, when you start the battle, you start with three additional stacks of Nature Blessing. Now, that helps you getting a lot, get a lot of uh, stacks. So when you do your ult, you refund, you can do the ult again. Why would you do the ult so many times? Because the ult is really strong. It gives you a plus 20% critical rate from the card. You also have a 500% damage on one target, 250 on all, all other enemies, and plus which is really, really good, and this Lilia should have this, to be honest, Side sidetracked. The excessive critical rate is converted to critical damage. So if you manage to get him to 100% or really, really close, anything exceeding it is going to be converted to critical damage, which means that the damage of this ult is going to skyrocket by a lot, which is also reinforced by the other portraits that you might want to get if you are not free to play or maybe you saved uh, since day one to get P5 Shemaine. Now, let's go ahead and check those. The P2 gives you 60% critical rate on the ult, so it's plus 60. So if you already have like 50%, let's say, right, with, uh, with other means, plus 60, it's going to give you already 10% more critical, critical damage on the ult. Now, the shit hits the fan on P5 because P5 gives you plus 100% on critical rate, on critical rate on main target, which means that every time you do your ult, everything that you have on you is going to be converted into critical damage, which could be from really good to huge, depending on how much you, you, you are able to apply debuffs and buffs and make the critical rate of Shemaine outside of the ult as high as possible, right? You can do confusion, you can do shredding from from uh, Tooth Fairy, you can do you can build him with a critical resonance. So it's gonna be really really high. You also can give him the new side tube, even though it's more of a DPS side tube IMO. It's basically for him, which is the character a car the character of a heart. It's currently in the shop. Uh, if you are a new player, you started you started recently. You need to hurry up. Focus this one, use all of your candies, uh, because it's going to go away in a couple of days. The, mo the shop is going to close, so you really want to get this side shoe because it goes away. If you are planning on getting Shemaine, right? Especially if you're planning on getting P5 Shemaine. Because uh, the critical, the crit it gives you critical rate, the carrot of the heart, right? Because it gives you critical rate, and it really wants you, the amplification, it really wants you to get a lot of mocks in this round. Which means that it wants you to play Shamane as a DPS and use his cards all over. Uh, continuously like getting three moxie four moxie now if you don't use shaman as a main dps you can still use this it's fine it's only that when the, when is this going to happen this the amplification is going to trigger when you do your second ultimate so you want to wait 
until you have at least four, four uh, Moxie refunds or three, uh, but it should be four, right? Because uh, you want mega damage, four Mox refunds, then they get your ult again, and the ult is going to be plus 24% at max amplification uh, on your damage and the ult. So it's pretty good, and you can trigger it with free-to-play Shamani, uh, only support Shamani, you can still trigger it, but it's going to take a little more time. Uh, now, if you are using DPS Shaman, uh, P5 DPS Shaman, now this is easier, and you can probably trigger it more times by just playing his card over and over and over, right? You're using it as a using a, him as a main DPS and it's gonna, you're going to get a lot of damage. So that's uh, the best side tube. If you, if you happen to miss this, then you can use Brave New Ward, but it's not even that good, to be honest. Yes, the, it's less attack and it's less defense here, but you get the critical rate, which is the thing you need the most. Now, when it comes to his damage, right, even as a free-to-play, as his damage is pretty high. It's pretty, his damage is pretty high. It's kind of close to Melania's damage, Centurion's damage, it's right there, which is surprising for a character that can basically be used as support, right? Oh, I have a kick. I guess I'll do a kick. Does the same damage as Melania. Like, that's pretty good, right? So, even if you want to play him as a free-to-play P0, just debuffing, right? What you can do is, I3, wait, do the debuff, wait, do the debuff, while you're waiting every two rounds you're getting one stack of nature blessing eventually you'll get maybe oh you maybe you fuse one debuff into a level two or level three get some moxie finally up uh, with the ult you do your ult you deal a lot of damage surprisingly ton of damage getting uh you have five nature blessing or maybe four do one more card or you're ready to go do another ult and now you dealt a lot of damage while doing nothing right so it's going to take a, long, a little bit of long, longer turns, but you can still do decent amount of help as uh, and uh, being a P friendly with Shemaine. So Shemaine basically fits everywhere. It's a very versatile support slash DPS, and he can help doing a lot of damage, uh, especially if you build him correctly with like a lot of crit and try to be as high as much with the, uh, as high as possible with the crit, so you can uh, get the most out of the ult, right? But just if you want to use your him for the buff, the buff is not going to be as crazy as some other debuffer, but is a global debuff. So you can put him wherever you want, and you're still going to get that shred for every type of uh, reality or mental defense that are there, right? And damage taken. So I think it's uh, that's it. I don't want to pick too much. Just remember that if you are missing... A character like this, or you like Shemaine, or you were wondering, should I pull for Shemaine? What are what are the pros? What are the cons? The pros are is it does a lot of damage and it creates. He has like a lot of value and he also is extremely versatile. He can be AP friendly. He has a, a big debuff and he's global in COE. The cons are that if you want to use him as a free as um as a DPS, you kind of can't. If you are P0, you need to get some portrait, right? Otherwise, and the other cons, uh, con is that it's not that AP friendly. If you want to do some, if you want to stack manually some nature blessing. And another con is that the uh, the damage is um, only there if you have P5, right? That's Those are the cons. And that is uh, debuff is uh, not as powerful or nor as specialized as some other reality or mental debuffer right but even then i think that's like not even a con i think it's like in the middle so let me know what you think are you gonna pull for shamanic let me know in the comments leave a like subscribe do all your all that jazz go to my twitch twitch.tv forward slash jagazine we're gonna play a lot of games it's gonna be a lot of fun thank you for watching and see you next time